You know, I talk a lot about moisture barrier care, and that's really because, you know, I went through the process of a damaged moisture barrier, and it was frustrating, and it was hard at times to figure out what was wrong, and then figure out how to address it and heal my skin, but I did do it, and I think that's what makes me so passionate about sharing my experience, sharing what I've learned, so that maybe these videos can help those of you who are struggling as well. And when it comes down to it, you know, one of the biggest lessons that I learned about my moisture barrier were that, you know, ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids were really um, a really important component to healing. These are the three biggest components of your moisture barrier, and these are the three ingredients that are really going to help you. Whether you're looking to heal a damaged barrier, whether you're looking to strengthen a weak barrier, or you're just looking to keep your barrier strong, these are the ingredients that are really going to help you do that. And I always recommend two products when it comes to these, these ingredients, right? Crave Great Barrier Relief and Stradia Liquid Gold. But then ultimately the question ends up being, right? Well, which one's better? Which one should you get? So give this video a big thumbs up because today we're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of these two excellent barrier treatment products. We're gonna be comparing Crave Great Barrier Relief and Stradia Liquid Gold, and we're gonna decide which one of these is right for you. So first up, let's talk about the purpose of these products. Now these are both what I consider barrier treatment products and they are really meant to uh, deliver a lot of ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids into your skin. So Stradia Liquid Gold actually describes itself as a lightweight but powerful moisturizer that fortifies your skin's moisture barrier to help heal, hydrate, strengthen, and soothe. Now Crave, on the other hand, describes Great Barrier Relief as a skin soothing serum that restores your damaged skin barrier while evening out your complexion. So again, these are really both geared towards uh, barrier health and barrier strengthening. Crave does take it just a little bit further because they do claim that their product can help brighten up your skin just a little bit. So just a word about these brands. They're both independent skincare brands that were founded by women in the skincare community. Community. So Stradia was founded by Allie Reed, and she's the blogger behind The Acid Queen, and she's a part-time skincare chemist. And Liquid Gold was really their first flagship product, and it really, it was really cool because it really was brought up through the blogs. It was really brought up through word of mouth through blogs and Reddit, which is, I just think it's so cool. It's like, it's, it's like the product that the skincare community created in a way. Liquid Gold was actually inspired by research done about the golden ratio between ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. Pretty cool, right? Now, Crave Beauty was created by YouTuber Leah Yu, and Leah is very much, um, her skincare philosophy is very much like no nonsense. She really doesn't believe in a lot of that marketing hype that comes behind products, and she very much does appreciate more science-backed uh, skincare ingredients and science-backed formulations. And in fact, that really does seem to be the common thread between both brands that I find so interesting how similar they are. They both are very much just science-backed and uh, no marketing hype. Okay, let's talk ingredients because this is really where a lot of the similarities and differences will come in. So let's talk about similarities first. These both, of course, have ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. They both do contain those three really great ingredients. I call them the holy trinity of barrier care ingredients, and they really are. So both formulas do have those ingredients. They also both have niacinamide, rosehip oil, squalolane, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and urea. Now there are some differences here in the formulations and this is really kind of where they, like I said, like where they really start to split off um, and show their differences and show their benefits in certain areas. So the first difference is that golden ratio that I mentioned earlier. So what is the golden ratio? Well the golden ratio basically is the idea that, you know, ceramides alone we know this, ceramides alone, just ceramides aren't gonna, they're gonna help, but they're not gonna do everything for you. Ceramides actually work better when they're paired with cholesterol and fatty acids. 
But the golden ratio actually takes that a little bit further and says that these three ingredients, when formulated in the proper ratios, the golden ratio, right, they actually become even more effective at healing your moisture barrier because this ratio actually mimics your skin's natural ratio of these components of the ceramides, the cholesterol and fatty acids. It's 50% ceramides, 25% cholesterol, and 15% fatty acids. That's the golden ratio. So the golden ratio is found in Stradia Liquid Gold. This is actually the research that inspired the creation of this product. So this product does have the golden ratio um, of these ingredients, but Crave Great Beauty does not have this ratio. Niacinamide, both products do have niacinamide in them, but we have some differences here. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. So niacinamide is a superstar ingredient for skin, right? But it actually has been shown in percentages of 2% or higher, niacinamide can actually stimulate your skin's own natural production of ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. Pretty cool, right? Look, applying the skincare topically will definitely benefit your skin, but if your body can create its own ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids, it's gonna be even better because it's more bioavailable. Your body just knows what to do with it. So if you can kind of stimulate your own, uh, your own creation of these ingredients, it's gonna go a long way for your healing process. Now, I'm happy to report that Crave Great Barrier Relief does contain 2% niacinamide, so that's a big thumbs up, that's great. That's a very effective amount. Stradia actually contains 4% of niacinamide. So does that mean that it makes more ceramides? Like does, does the higher percentage make it better? Not necessarily. It's not necessarily going to create more ceramides on your skin, but what it is going to do is it's going to open up some more benefits from the niacinamide. Niacinamide found in concentrations of like uh, 2% and more, so like 2, 3, 4, and 5% niacinamide start to bring in additional benefits. Um, it actually can help um, stimulate collagen production on your skin. It can also help stimulate um, skin protein production on your skin as well, which is pretty cool. So it's actually got like a little bit of an anti-aging benefit to it, as well as a skin restorative benefit because it's, it's generating collagen and protein production on the skin. So it's giving it that little bit of that regenerative boost. Ceramides, this is another one where there's a difference here. Yes, both products do contain ceramides, but how they use ceramides and the actual ceramides that are being used here are different. So Crave actually uses just one form of ceramides. It uses ceramides NP, which is also sometimes referred to as ceramide 3. But Stradia actually uses three different forms of ceramides. They use ceramide NP as well. They also use ceramide EOP, which is referred to as ceramide 1, as well as ceramide AP, sometimes referred to as ceramide 6-2. Now, is more better? Well, yeah, kind of more is better. Not only just the fact that there's more, but that there's diversity in the ceramides being used in Stradia Liquid Gold. This is important because Ceramide NP, which is found in both formulas, is just fine on its own. But because Stradia actually also employs Ceramide EOP, this is really important to note because Ceramide EOP actually helps boost the benefits of Ceramides NP. It's a helper ceramide, kind of boosting those benefits. But not only that, it also has um, its own benefit on its own to help your skin um, kind of rebuild its lipid layer to kind of help your body generate more lipids. This is important because that is part of your skin that really helps to hold hydration in. That's going to fight dehydration and trans epidermal water loss. This is important because those are real true hallmark symptoms of a weak moisture barrier function. So you're probably already dealing with dehydration. So if you can get additional benefits, not only just of building back up your moisture barrier, but fortifying your lipid layer just from the use of the ceramides in this product, I mean, that definitely pushes Stradia ahead in my mind. Tamano oil is really the star ingredient of Crave Great Barrier Relief. It is not found at all in Stradia Liquid Gold. And they're really banking on Tamano oil because they use a lot of it in Crave Great Barrier Relief. It's found in 10% in the ingredients list Tamano oil is. That's a lot. So Tamano really is a star here. Now Tamano oil is known for its wound healing abilities. It's an 
anti-inflammation ingredient, but I really think the reason that Tamano is in here is because it can really help brighten up your skin. It can help with hyperpigmentation. And remember, that's one of the claims that Great Barrier Relief has, that it can really brighten up your skin. And that, in combination with the niacinamide, is really offering a strong brightening benefit. So let's talk texture and scent. Now, remember from the beginning of the video when we're talking about the purpose of the serums, Stradia described itself as a lightweight moisturizer, and Crave actually describes themselves as a serum. But when you look at the texture side by side, they're so similar. They're both very emollient, rich, nourishing, almost lotion-like consistencies. Both of them are so similar and they feel very similar on the skin. I would honestly argue that they're a little closer to a lotion than they are to a serum or a moisturizer in my opinion. And in fact, both say that they certainly could double as your moisturizer, but I didn't find that either one really served the purpose for me. I do struggle with dehydrated skin that can sometimes veer on the dry side. Neither one of these had the occlusive properties that I look for in a moisturizer to really lock down my skincare layers and protect me from transepidermal water loss. So for me, they didn't function that way. I I usually just order them in my skincare routine just prior to an additional moisturizer. Let's talk scent here because um, both of these are actually unscented products, but that doesn't mean that they don't have a scent. It just means that they don't contain fragrancing properties or essential oils, which is a good thing. Now, the Crave has Tamano oil in it, and Tamano oil is well known for having a funky scent. It's usually described as earthy. Um, I actually, from what I kind of got off of the scent, was it was a little bit more salty and yeasty, almost like a pretzel. Kind of weird, I know, but that's just kind of what it reminded me of. It really wasn't bothersome to me at all. And in fact, you know, I definitely smelt it the first time I used it. And if you really shove your nose into it, you can smell it. In my personal experience, I went pretty nose blind to it after like the first or second use. And I kind of had a similar experience with Stradia. You know, I went pretty nose blind to it. It's a much, much, much more subtle uh, scent on Stradia, by the way. Um, you don't pick up on it immediately unless you're really searching for it. But if I had to describe the scent on Stradia, it's kind of like a very generic skincare, like plasticky plant kind of smell. <laughs> but again, I had to get real close up in there to try and smell it and I went pretty nose blind to it pretty quickly. Just a special note about Stradia Liquid Gold, as you may have noticed, it's a golden color. That comes from the sea buckthorn uh, being used in the formulation. Now that yellow color on very pale skin types can actually show up as a little bit like of a tinting, a little bit of a yellow tint to the skin on very pale skin. I'm going to insert here um, a demonstration. On my skin you see that I, I don't have uh, the tinting on my skin, but on a skin tone just lighter than mine, it does start to appear. So if you're my skin tone or darker, you don't really need to worry about it, but if you're a little bit paler, you're gonna start to notice a little bit of yellow tinting that you may wanna cover up with makeup or you may wanna reserve liquid gold for use at night only. And of course, this washes off immediately. It doesn't stain the skin by any means. So I feel like this video was like 10 months in the making. Why do I say that? The reason I say that is because I have emptied a bottle each of these products. So I feel like I have a really good grip on these products. I've gotten to know them very, very well. And I feel like I've really, you know, had a chance to really see what they can do. Now, I do need to make the distinction of how I did use them though, because uh, Stradia Liquid Gold, I did use that during my damaged moisture barrier phase uh, and it was part of my healing process. I did use it after I healed my barrier as well um, but I just kind of want to make the distinction that it was used during that time. Now Crave Great Barrier Relief I didn't use while my moisture barrier was damaged. I didn't own the product at the time but I did use Crave when I started to use retinol on my skin for the first time and sort of introducing retinol into my routine. Crave was definitely that product that I leaned on to keep my barrier strong and healthy. So there were a few differences that I noted between the products that I think are definitely worth mentioning right now. And the first one is price and value. Now, Stradia Liquid Gold retails for $24 and Crave retails for $28. Not a huge difference in my opinion, but once you look further, you start to see um, some bigger differences here. Stradia actually gives you 60 milliliters of product and Crave gives you 40. Because you get a little bit more with Stradia, it lasts longer. Um, my experience with 
Australia. This lasted just about six months for me and Crave lasted just about four months. I did use this twice daily on my face, by the way, so you get a lot of uses either way. But Stradia definitely does edge a little ahead on that one as far as value because you get longer use for less money. Packaging, it seems a little bit picky, but let's talk about packaging because it is a comparison, right? So Stradia Liquid Gold comes in an airless pump bottle. And once I got towards the end of the product, I really do feel like I got everything out of that bottle. Crave is a more traditional pump bottle. It's not an airless pump. And I did find that towards the end of the product, that pump did stop picking up props product from the bottom of the bottle and so I had to turn it upside down and kind of scoop and dig out the rest of it and that was about two weeks worth of product um, that just did not get picked up by the pump. I know it's pretty picky but I definitely did prefer the Stradia packaging. And let's talk accessibility because both of these products are actually kind of difficult to get if you don't live in the United States. These are both companies, remember they're indie skincare brands and they're actually still pretty new um, but they are based in the United States so uh, it is a little bit difficult to get international shipping. Stradia does offer international shipping from their website, but we know that that can come with a lot of fees, very expensive shipping fees, and that we're probably going to deal with customs, right? So, you know, it can be kind of a headache, and I get that. Uh, Crave, from their official website, they only ship within the United States, but... There's a workaround with this because they do have a couple of third-party authorized um, distributors. Uh, I'm thinking particularly Beauty Box Korea sells Crave products inter with international shipping. So that could be one way for you to get your Crave products. Uh, if you happen to be in South Korea, Crave does have a presence in South Korea. I kind of sometimes consider them to be a K-beauty um, company because they do have such a big presence in South Korea. It's very much a Korean and American brand at the same time. Uh, Crave has also opened up or is about to open shipping to Malaysia, which kind of is a signal to us that Crave is working really hard on international shipping. And I think it's really only a matter of time before the products do become a little bit more accessible. But either way, currently speaking, both of these products if you're not in the States, I get it. It's really tricky to get them, but if you can find them, I think it's worth it. So which one do I like better? I'm not answering that question. <laughs> it's too much pressure. I'm not answering that question. Let me tell you why I'm not answering that question. I'm not answering the question because it's just too hard for me to decide. And I actually like both of these products a lot. I actually think they're excellent products. But I do like them for different reasons, and I do use them for different reasons. So let me leave you with this, because I think instead of me answering which one do I like better, I think let's answer that original question is which one should you get, right? So I would say if you are dealing with a damaged moisture barrier, your skin needs massive healing, right? Your barrier has gone off the deep end. If that's you, get Stradia. I mean, I think that it's pretty obvious. Just get Stradia. Through this comparison, I think we demonstrated through the ingredients that Stradia is just the more superior barrier healing product. I mean, think about it. We've got the golden ratio, right? That is a more effective blend of ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids. It's going to work better for you. It's going to be more effective, and it's probably going to work faster for you. Plus, we've also got the diverse use of ceramides. You know, we've got three ceramides being used in Stradia instead of just craves one of ceramide. So we've got more benefits through ceramides for you. Plus, we've got a higher percentage of niacinamide. I just think that that makes Stradia a much more superior and well-rounded barrier healing product. So maybe your moisture barrier isn't damaged. Maybe you're just looking to maybe keep your barrier strong. Perhaps you have chronic dehydration. Maybe your, your moisture barrier is just a little bit weak, but it's not really damaged. Or maybe you're looking to add in some chemical exfoliation or maybe some retinol and you want to make sure that your skin stays healthy. If that's you, I think Crave might be a really good choice for you. We've got the essential ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids here that are really going to feed your moisture barrier plus a really high amount of niacinamide, right? 2% is the, the effective amount to stimulate your skin's ceramide production. Really important. But we've also got additional benefits from tamale oil and the tamanu oil is really helpful especially if you suffer from acne or hyperpigmentation you're going to get additional anti-inflammation and um, anti-hyperpigmentation benefits 
So I really hope that that comparison helped you decide which of these excellent products is the right one for you. Because at the end of the day, like I said, I think these are both really, really good products, but they do excel in a couple of different areas that make them a little bit more unique from each other. So let me know in the comment box below, what are you currently doing to take care of your moisture barrier? For me, definitely incorporating one of these products into my routines has been amazing for my moisture barrier. And I think keeping my skin balanced between hydration and moisture has been a really important key for me too. So if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I release two new skincare videos every single week and don't forget to turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop when I upload the new video. I really hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I can't wait to see you in the next video and we'll talk soon. All right, bye guys.